Benjamin loved chocolate. He knew more about chocolate than anyone in his French town. Anyone, that is, except his grandfather, Marcos. Marcos made incredible hot chocolate with a crown of foam that wobbled and stuck to Benjamin's nose. One day, Marco told Benjamin how it had all started. It all began in Spain where we used to live. An explorer who visited the faraway lands of America taught me an Aztec recipe. I started selling hot chocolate to rich travelers at the port. They called me the Chocolate King. But one day, Marco said sadly, we had to leave our home in Spain. It was one of those times when instability changed many people's lives. We left in a hurry and packed as much as possible. Your mother wanted clothes, but I insisted that the chocolate beans were our family treasure. And we took as many as we could carry. When we arrived in France, no one knew what chocolate was. Your father was miserable. He said people don't like trying new things and they wouldn't want our chocolate. But I wanted us to be the first to show them how wonderful it tastes. Marco's only skill was making chocolate. What if the people in France won't want to give the chocolate a chance? Do you like chocolate? What is your favorite kind? Let's find out what happens next. Benjamin's grandfather was right. Even those who had tried the chocolate thought it was strange. It's gooey, not for me. It's sticky mud. Chocolate King, Marco sighed. I'm the poorest king in history. Benjamin still dreamt of being a chocolate king. Though Marcos never let him touch anything. Grandma let him watch her roast the cocoa beans. She also let him smell. But one morning, Benjamin stumbled and the thick chocolate from the pot emptied all over him. <gasps> Embarrassed, he rushed out into the cobbled street, straight into the path of a golden carriage. What is that creature caked in mud? Demanded an angry passenger. Mud, protested Benjamin. It's chocolate. My grandpa is the chocolate king. Really? I thought I was the only king here. Your, your ma 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 majesty, ma majesty, stammered Benjamin. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I had no idea. A pink-faced man stepped out of the carriage. It was the king of France. He inspected Benjamin from head to toe. Would you have liked to meet the king of France? covered from head to toe with brown goo? Let's see what happens next. <laughs>